So I've been getting some feedback from my family as well as uh, my viewers that they'd like some shorter, um, more casual, maybe not so uh, not so formal, not so uh, researched programs. Um, <clears throat> in the YouTube world, they call these longer, more research programs a, a tent pole, I think, meaning that they're harder to get into the tent, but they hold up more structure. Anyway. Bottom line is, I am going to uh, do some experimentation with uh, some short-term, um, more casual types of stories. This uh, first vignette, uh, uh, by the way, Ford Brewer, <coughs> uh, PrevMed, heart attack, stroke, cancer, disability prevention. Uh, we can help you have a couple of extra healthy decades in your life. We help. You do a lot of the work. Uh, we're your consultant and physician, and <clears throat> we can help you get there. So <clears throat> today I'm going to talk about um, one of my first patients, an early patient that came to me on, um, from a cardiologist. I have a lot of patients that come. They've been to a cardiologist. They've seen uh, seen him and her or her for years. They're not entirely sure. They just want to get a second opinion. And they're uh, often already on a statin, maybe a blood pressure medication. Now, if they're on a statin, at least nine times out of 10, it's um, Lipitor. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> I've heard stories of docs that spoke out about Lipitor and their uh, careers were ruined. So... <laughs> Uh, I don't know whether that's true or not. Uh, I do know this. I, um, and I'm not, I'm not going to be that negative about any person or, or, or any group. I will tell you, though, that I don't provide... I, I do uh, provide a lot of statins. Um, I don't prescribe Lipitor. Uh, I'm not going to say that the vast majority of Lipitor that's uh, provided out there is is doing more harm than good. I can't say that. It, it actually does do a good job of decreasing LDL. But <clears throat> as, if you've seen any of our my other videos, you know that we're really focused on the uh, something else. Inflammation, cardiovascular inflammation. So it's not the plaque, it's not the LDL, the waxy substance that gets into the arteries, uh, the walls of your arteries. It's your immune system attacking that plaque. So anyhow, back to that patient. <clears throat> um, I called this cardiologist, and I speak to a lot of cardiologists, and it's interesting. Most cardi cardiologists are familiar with the issue of inflammation. It's just over the past um, past few months that they've gotten a wake-up call from the Cantos study that showed significant decrease in heart attack and stroke events from Alaris, an anti-inflammatory drug. You can see other videos on that. I call this cardiologist up, <clears throat> and as usually happens uh, with them, they're a little bit cold, a little bit icy, a little bit uh, maybe defensive when we first talk. But then after they hear what I'm doing and we start talking about inflammation, I start hearing, oh yeah, I know what you're talking about. This cardiologist responded, <clears throat> as many did, or many do, well, you know, Lipitor is very inexpensive. And, <laughs> and uh, at that time, Crestor was not. It's been off of patent for a couple of years, so it's, uh, it's not that, that bad anymore. But again, Lipitor has been a blockbuster drug, I think over a decade. Um, it's been incredibly highly uh, advertised, and it was one of the first out of the blocks. So a lot of support for Lipitor. However, <clears throat> uh, again, if uh, there are a couple of groups that Lipitor does not seem to have an anti-inflammatory effect for. One of them is people uh, that happen to be female. So that's automatically half the population does not get an anti-inflammatory effect from Lipitor. 
There's another group that doesn't appear to get an anti-inflammatory effect from Lipitor, and that is folks that have insulin resistance. Well, by the time we're age 60, that's a little over half of us. And by the time we're age 65, that's probably at least 70% of us. So <clears throat> all the women and 70% of the remaining males don't get an anti-inflammatory effect from Lipitor. All those folks will still get a decrease in LDL, but not an anti-inflammatory effect. So I called the, the cardiologist. Again, a little, started off a little bit icy. We started having this conversation. And then he, he made the comment about uh, Crestor being expensive. I said, well, if you want to get financial about this, th this individual has a net worth of way north of $100 million. This person's always uh, already, also making over $5 million a year. So, But that's only if the person can continue to work which is not likely if they have a heart attack, and it's really not likely if they have a stroke. But the bottom line is it's better for the patient, and he can clearly afford it. The, cardi the line went dead for a minute, or the, cardi the, the patient's doc went silent. I thought maybe he'd hung up or walked off. Then I heard him say, you know, you make a good point. <clears throat> I'll uh, switch him to Crestor. Thank you very much for calling and call me back anytime.